So interior, it's so big because it affects everything that you do, but no one sees it. I was just worried. I just honestly felt like I was, I was dying at you know, 18 years old. I knew that my life had changed like that, and that oh, I'm grown up now. There's about 10 million vials of insulin produced worldwide each year, and about 1 million vials is wasted. That one million vials could probably sustain 60 developing countries for a year. Negative comments like just gross or ew, needles and all that stuff, it hurt me a lot for the first few months. You know, if everyone else doesn't have diabetes, why should I have it? You need a lot of maturity to say, oh, I'm going to live with it no matter what. I'm not only a diabetic person, I'm a person before being diabetic. I think as my brother started to suffer through diabetes, he lived his own little private hell. A lot of my friends didn't know very much about diabetes and they would joke around about that. And you know, I'd laugh too because I, I wanted to fit in. I was a follower back then, I wasn't a leader. When you're used to being a world-class athlete, something like that can really bring you down. When you ask yourself, what if I had been born in any other country? And then you're like, oh, well, maybe I wouldn't be alive anymore. It kind of puts it in your face. The streets, the cars are spinning around, and the sky comes hurling down. Tell me what to do. I take a bottle of insulin and I look at it and I see somebody's life. Yeah. <laughs>